Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's the most important, bottom line, critical thing happening on this planet. Today on This Is Important? Yeah, I'm fingering my butthole, but it's in my living room, dude. Hey, backing up like a pterodactyl. <laughs> it's, it's all pointless and stupid. I don't care how long you've known each other, you can't have your dick out. Buckle up. All right. All right. Let's go. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. Hit us. That's beautiful. Uh, who was the first person to do the rent, rent, rent? Like what? Where is that? Who started that? Started the 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 air horn? Yeah, I, I want to say it like originated in like dance halls. Like, uh huh. It's probably like some real like fucking Jamaica shit. Yeah, it feels Beanie like Beanie Man. It's, is that Beanie is that a Man's guy? probably up there? Yeah, it probably predates Sean Paul, but I bet Sean Paul really got it fucking kicking. I bet Sean Paul knows. Sean Paul mm-hmm. would know who started it. It's probably right. just some like guy named Tony who's like was like a cool dude. Yeah. Who worked in it like also he worked uh like as a car mechanic, but then also DJed on the side and was yeah. like, mm-hmm. oh, shit. oh shit. I know I know what gets me riled up when I'm tightening right. those those nuts and bolts uh, under yeah. the hood of yeah, the car. When I fix the horn on the car. Mm-hmm. And then but, I go, but what's <laughs> What's oh, crazy like, is the it's the bump bump bump. It's not just like bam bam. It's the three and the long like. What about sports? Isn't it sports? Isn't it sports? I feel like there's been air horns at sports forever. Hockey. Well, hockey is a legit like fog horn, where it's like and it's yeah. so loud. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that shit's fucking cool. But in the crowd, hasn't there been air horns like? for a while to get it going for sure soccer games but they don't sound like that those sound like rah, rah. yeah this is what really well i think it's just because it's an electronic version of it right oh, okay. uh-huh. oh right. well sh- that's important <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's fucking important i feel like they they like kind of cooled off on the air horn though i feel like they're not well it got obnoxious it became a punchline and that's why we brought it back i believe yeah yeah i feel like yeah. we need to <laughs> also to keep it alive i it's don't know how great when, when's the last time you were in in the club like hardcore in the club almost every night it's been a, it, it's <laughs> for durs it's almost every night yeah like i just stopped by for 15 you, minutes it was the last time you really clubbed it realistically because for a while durs you were going to a lot of nightclub you were like trying you were like djing and stuff yeah mm-hmm. uh when DJ was the last action. time that you've you've dj'd or done anything like that i guess we are in the middle of a yeah i mean pre-pandemic yeah yeah, it's been yeah. A long was it pre-pandemic time. by like a long time or was it like february 13th you were in the club <laughs> in the club and then the 14th in the 14th the pandemic hit and you were like oh i can't be in the club any yeah. longer it was a while before that <laughs> Um, but it was, I mean, it was always fun, but like going to a club, it, but I, Dude. it is shocking. Durs, Durs brought me to like a, a couple of my first like real LA nightclubs where like he would have to tell us to like dress cooler than we were. He'd be like, just don't. Yeah. No, what? Know the, know the door guy. There's no yeah. way I did that. There's no way I told you how to dress. You might've yeah. asked me, but like, there's no way you told me. Yeah, maybe I asked you. I remember if there was a dress code, he maybe would have enforced it. Like sometimes you got to rock a button up and some fucking like shoes, right? Don't you got to do that? Closed toe shoes. Closed toe shoes is for real. Well, this is early two thousands. Yeah, that's a, and no hats is real at some places. And right. Yeah, early two thousands. Uh, L A. And at that time, Kyle was like braiding his armpit hair, and he was like really proud of it. Right. Braiding. Braiding? Yeah. It's, or maybe it was dreadlocked. It's never been long enough, sir, but I would love to try. It, maybe it was dreadlocked, but <laughs> I'm, Kyle always had his armpit hair out, and I feel like roots. they weren't it was a lot of allowing tank tops. that. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of tank tops. Oh, right. yeah. Remember, they would, they, exactly. They would fucking give, they would say no tank tops and no hats, and that was like my to whole you, by, thing. by the way, they would that say to you. Thing. If That's you were like, to say that to everybody. If you were like a shredded hot ass dude, they'd be like, get in here, man. Wait, what? What? Are you saying there's a fucking other level of, of yeah. rules? There's a double standard in our society? If Michael B. Jordan 
came into a club with like his sleeves cut off, they'd be like, get in here. I actually do remember, this isn't a club, but this is a bar on the west side called Busby's. Busby's. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a yeah. sports place. place. Oh, are you telling the story when Kyle came in with a hat and um, got very upset? No, but we can get there. Uh, <laughs> I was there in line to watch like a Wisconsin game or whatever. Okay. And I'm standing like waiting to get in. And there's a sign that says like, um, no hats, no flip flops and something else. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden this Escalade pulls up and I'm like 23, I'm, I'm out of college. And Matt Leinert, who's in college, <laughs> comes out of oh, Busby's yeah. with a hat on, with a tank top, <laughs> with flip flops, and then just gets in the Escalade and drives off as a college child. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, that dude's gonna I'm pissed we're talking about end up as a pretty good commentator. I mean, we're talking about we're talking about a time like over a decade ago, and that story right there fucking pissed me off. I mean, this was this was a year <laughs> that was when Leinhardt was God. That's damn near twenty years ago. This was a year after the arguably the greatest game of all time where they played uh Texas. Oh, well, that was the USC Texas game. I, I remember, remember that. Matt Liner was in our living room one time. We I, I would come home quite a bit and there'd be like <laughs> random people in our living room because our old roommate Christine Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the roommate would invite people <laughs> over. She went to USC and it was Matt Liner was there and then the offensive line it was like these are just a bunch of giant fucking men in my living room. And then they're acting uh, like they're, this is why I don't fuck with USC. OK, go off. I don't like them. I don't like them. You live in Orange County. Tread carefully. I know. Fuck them. They suck. Okie dokie. Don't like you. I agree. I don't like the vibe. Okay. No, not don't like the vibe. They were acting like I'm the asshole for being in my living room. For living in a, my house. Like walking around naked in my living room, dude. Fuck, mm -hmm. fuck you, asshole. I was butt-ass naked, but it's my living room, dude. Wait, I live there, too. I don't know, where was that? Cut cut to the threesome. I know, and, I, and, and so I'm in my living room. Yeah, I'm fingering my butthole, but it's in my living room, dude. And you didn't let the O-line hit the train. I get it. I see no, by their so I'm just uh, So I was just like, I, you know, they're in my living room, so I'm trying to chop it up with them, and they're like... You're in your boy shorts. They get the fuck away <laughs> from me. And uh, admittedly, some of the offensive linemen were pretty cool, but I remember Matt Liner uh, kind of being... Pretty oh, offensive. Rude. <laughs> rude. Yeah, well, he was on top of the world. Like, he was... A huge deal, at least in Southern California. That's sure. Had the that doesn't give you the right to this be is a when, dickhead. That's this is true. This is true. One hundred percent true. It also does We've, not give you the right to go to Busby's with a fucking hat and a tank top that, on, okay, and flip flops and open toed true. shoes. I remember being with Kyle back in the day where we were going to watch some sporting event at yep. Busby's. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they, Curling. uh, you, they told you to take your hat off. You took your hat off to walk in, and then you put your hat back on. That's right. Oh. Rebel boss move classic and then they came and then they come over and then they ask you to, to do it again And I remember you that's just an asshole. You got that's, so mad dude. That's like why I would rock a tank top underneath a button-up because I would button it yeah. up. Yeah, and then fucking walk in Peel and then down. as soon as it did, I did open yeah. it and then tie it around my fucking waist, bro. Arms are <laughs> which, which look like the so worst you're, look. you're wearing yeah, you're wearing the tank top purely for comfort because you're not going to look cool if you're tying your fucking button up around your waist like it's a field trip. That's a fantastic look. And if you don't agree, fuck you. No. I know where you got that look too, by the way. Where? Where? Yeah, it's from third grade. You got <laughs> no, no, no. That's from your homie, Ben. Damn. That was his look. You stole his look. From Just Ben from when I was a grip? Whoever your homie oh, was shit. who wore tank tops and he had the thing tied around the waist and he mm -hmm. had like a grip truck and that was yeah. like your end. And he had a ponytail. That was ben. your end game. You're like, I'm going to get a grip truck yeah. and live off of that. That was a legend. Bro, we were, we were partners, so absolutely I could have been influenced by that look. And it's a great look. It was a little trickle down for sure. Influenced, huh? Was, no, you yeah. said influenced, but I'm saying influenced as in like you just ripped it off. Yeah, but... You're like, ben, ben, Ben's not here. Right, maybe. Maybe, but I still look fucking good and I used it to get into Busby's and then they would catch me with 
the fucking hat on and the arms out. Kyle, you've got great, you've got great lines, okay? No and one's an, denying your shoulders. And a nice no tan. No one's denying that. A nice tan when you got that tank top going. Yeah. And a killer fucking killer tattoo on the back that's exposed when I rock a <laughs> tank, bro. And when you were doing P90X, oh, Ky we got to post some of Kyle's P90X body. Yeah, I feel like let's let's dig in the crates and, and post all COVID. I just died. COVID. He died from lunch. <laughs> let's let's post all of our the P90X bods because we would um we would all work out together during the P90X days. Tony Horton would inspire us, and we yes. would work out in the workaholics house before we got the show. And I remember Durs would come over, and we're like finishing up a workout. Like at, mm -hmm. he got there a little earlier, what or maybe we're working out a little late, and he would just be like. What the fuck are you guys doing? I'm eating thing? a burrito from Fresh and Easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Fresh and Easy, R.I.P. Damn. God, such go a ahead, great, go ahead. great neighborhood. Well, that was the, I mean, that was the first time I had ever, like, done, like, a workout regimen, and we, we were all in, all five of us in that house. Tony Horton was a magical guy. We watched mm -hmm. those damn DVDs so much that you'd just start to memorize them and, and just fall in love with each <laughs> yeah. character. Yeah. What was you would it? just quote all day long, you guys were just saying, do your best and forget the rest. <laughs> Keep pushing what was your German like, potato like soup? Like a potato stew? Yeah. German yeah. yeah. potato soup. Hey, what backing is this up like a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> These dudes were just quoting P90X like it was the newest, funniest <laughs> SNL sketch or some shit. Dude, it was the best. And also, Blake, that's still your workout regimen, right? You didn't switch it up. There's yeah, no muscle, there's no more muscle confusion over there because you've been doing the same workout for <laughs> yeah. 10 plus years. Oh, I know. I gotta switch it up, but man, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You do have have a hot bod you do have a really hot bod big ups for working out bro good job yeah, thank mm -hmm. you so much why was the dude from broken lizard in the p90x videos dude oh rabbit he, and no one ever talked about this and you know what else was weird about him and no one ever talked about he only had one leg yes he only <laughs> has one leg sorry blake you just said what was weird about him <laughs> no i or like that i didn't know <laughs> wait a second Wait a Did second, Blake. That? What is so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, what is this? Unknown? What you didn't know. What you didn't... A thing you didn't realize. <laughs> I'll pile on this one. Weird about that. It was like, it was like with DJ Paul from 3-6 Mafia, a lot of people didn't realize he's got like a little tiny baby arm. I just didn't right. even it's know. Very, it's very interesting. It piques my interest, but it's right. not weird. Okay. Yes, it's, it's not weird. Mm -hmm. It's not weird. It's just like unexpected. Yeah, it's like they're functioning yeah. in the world. Right. They're succeeding better than anybody. They're just they're, they're you just would never <laughs> tell. <laughs> Bro, back it's off. It's science. <laughs> but like, okay. Yes, all what you just said. But I was like, isn't that the guy from Super Troopers who's just like fucking throwing weights around? And then, yeah, what was what mm -hmm. was cool? It was inspiring because mm -hmm. it, he was like a working actor. Super mm -hmm. Troopers was only a few year was only been out a handful of years when uh when P90X came out yeah, and yeah. so he was still very uh relevant that's a, they don't mention anything and we're like we're like this guy and he wasn't like oh and my actor friend from the movie right. Super Troopers is also in the deep background working out i yeah. was just going to say producers put his name i was like he has like a crazy scandinavian name eric stolhansk yeah. Oh, I'm glad you said it because I would have been Eric S. Is what yeah. I would have gone with. How? Wait, but how would you? Yeah, Stolhansky Stol is what how yeah. I would have said that. I mean, they that you know that Ellis Island shit. They might have changed it. So do you um, think? Do you dude, think that yes. they? Do you think that that they recorded P90X like without him knowing before Super Troopers became like a because it didn't Super Troopers didn't do well in the theaters. <laughs> that was like a DVD like underground classic yes that was a cult hit i saw it in the theaters that was a. Uh, did you really yeah you saw wow. it in the theater that's i saw it in the insane. theater two times it was a showtime on all the time one for me i went right. once and was like i wasn't high for it i just went to mm. the, the movies and then i was high like for this uh, i'm running this back with my homies and we got really stoned in the parking lot and then went mm. in uh, okay. Should we let's give a couple flowers here because the okay. crazy thing that they were able to do with Super Troopers that almost no other movie can do is bring that sense of like camaraderie to the screen. Like the the part where they're like slamming the um the, the syrup, syrup. That's yeah. not funny or cool at all. But when they were doing it, I was like, I love it. Because they were like watching each other do it and they're like, chug it, chug it, chug it. He's like, that's uh, I, a gip. 
It seemed real, and like yeah, these guys were kicking it. Is it is interesting. That's the first thing I thought about when I thought about Super Troopers was slamming the syrup. The, the syrup well, scene? I think yeah. I, I think why it resonated is it, it a lot of times, it's hard when you cast <laughs> yeah, uh, no cream. actors. Okay, no cream. Okay, no cream. <laughs> I mean, that shit's great. It's like this new joke form. When they cast actors uh, and they're not really friends, or they're just sort of like Hollywood friends, mm -hmm. and so they're not like that close, and to try to like have that camaraderie and that feeling of 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 not being afraid to like hurt the other's feelings or like just do something mm -hmm, bitch. Uh, just what? call each other bitches a lot right. Since well, it have have mental health and it, it seems so real yes i would never i've never looked up the history of broken lizard like they must have been a sketch group they were a sketch group they're yeah. a sketch group and they're they're college homies yeah, and by the way, you know they're tight because in Dr uh, Club Dread or whatever, yes. Bill Pax Bill Underrated. Paxton came in. Yeah, and you know, yes. if Bill Paxton's coconut, fucking with them, Coconut Joe or whatever, he Coconut Joe, mm -hmm. so good. That was the follow up to Super Troopers, right? They mm -hmm. had so much heat on them, and then it was Beer Fest, and then it then was. I it thought was... it was Beer Fest, and then, but no, it was Club Dread, and then it was Beer Fest, okay. and then Slam and Salmon, and then Slam and Salmon, yeah, or Puddle Which Jumpers, was, or was that Puddle their Jumpers first was movie? the first was one? First Puddle one. Jumpers is what they made on like uh, that's hard to watch on mm -hmm. like a shoestring, like right out of college, I think. Why is that? Is that guy's leg bothering you the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> no, Whoops. dude, it's just like it's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Is it called Puddle Cruisers or puddle something? Puddle Jumpers. It's called Puddle Jumpers? What is it about? Airplanes? Small airplanes? I thought so. That's a... Yeah, if you're a... Yeah, if you're a pilot and you need to like... You're not flying, but you're going somewhere and you sit kind of in the seat, right? That's a puddle jump? No, I thought it's just like if you're going mm -hmm. from island to island, it's like you're jumping a puddle. You're not like going mm -hmm. a big... It's like a small distance. Are they pilots in it? But I, if you're uh, an island... Yeah, it's called... Isn't, that's a land puddle? Wait, they're saying Puddle Cruiser. Puddle it, Cruiser? What the fuck is Puddle Cruiser? Maybe it was what, about guys who like r rode bikes through like big puddles. And it dude, was just, you don't remember at all what the fuck that <laughs> yeah, was. Yeah, obviously about. it was real hard to watch. You didn't dude, even watch it. <laughs> puddle Cruiser. I did. I did. I don't think I got through it. I remember it being very bad. But mm. maybe I just wasn't in the right mind state. Well, I'm glad we gave them their flowers. And I'm a I'm a huge super <laughs> No, I'm a huge super trooper broken lizard guy. I, I love Club Dread. I think Beer Fest is hella funny. Like I'm a I'm a fan. I'm I mean, fan. one of our 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 key grip um on Workaholics, yeah, mm -hmm. Pat, Pat, Patrick Pat Heffernan. He Pat Heffernan was the older brother or younger brother of Ooh. Kevin Heffernan. I think older uh I younger know. brother, right? I think I think younger who, brother. Who played Farva? Right. And legend. He, He's one of those guys who you're like, oh, you're hilarious, right? Like, yeah. but he's behind the scenes, but he's as funny as you or funny or whatever, like just a, a comedy machine. And we go, we got to put you like in one scene yeah. and we're just going to give you, he's like, I don't really want to act. And we gave him one line. Yeah. What was it? And he fucking killed it. Oh, it was from Dr. Tell AmeriCorps. He's and like, we he's... quoted it forever. Yeah. yeah. He's the guy. Are you was... asking me? Yeah. Are you asking me? Because <laughs> yeah, we, we ask him it's something. Be the yeah. And then he goes, Are you asking me? And we go, Yeah. And he goes, It was. And we <laughs> yeah. quoted, Are you asking me forever? Yeah. That's the touch he had. Right. That yeah. family, funny family. Funny Very family. Funny. And then Our we boy. had Kevin on as a police officer later. That's right. That's yes, right. For um, mm -hmm. the one where you guys are like singing Irish songs. What was it? Deputy right. Dong. Deputy yes. Dong. Yeah, Deputy we go to Dong. we we go to the kid who's <laughs> shit talking us on Modern Warfare to whoop his ass. Right. <laughs> that's right. Oh wait, dude, and that's my favorite bit in Workog's history where he's like sneaking. Somebody's sneaking out through a laundry hamper in giant pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember yeah. this? Yeah. And it totally worked, even though the pants looked insane. But like, yeah, it actually worked. <laughs> So good. <laughs> it was like bent over to be hidden in the laundry basket, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cover, tors torso and head covered in clothes, <laughs> yeah. and then the yeah. legs were in the pants. Yeah, it yeah. worked out. It was like some fucking Jim Henson shit. It was badass. And yeah, one was of sorry. my favorite background actors of all time was one of like the <laughs> other cops in the room. He got like silver hair. Like, do you guys remember this guy? Slick back silver no. hair. He's in every movie. You remember him? <laughs> I see him all the time. If if it's in like a boardroom with like executives, he's like at the end of the table. If it's a bunch of like police like sitting around hearing like we got a guy on the run, we got to hunt him. He's like nodding yeah. his head. Yeah, 
He's in everything. I wow. love I love your attention. We got to get him in the Workaholics movie then. And we know him. He's our friend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, guys, <laughs> they uh, the Broken Lizard guys have a new movie co- uh, coming out starring all of them, directed by Kevin Heffernan, written oh. by all of them. What happened to Jay? Uh, called Jay, Jay didn't do Slam and Salmon either. Well, no, he wrote, he wrote, uh, Jay wrote the movie. Oh, okay. Along with Kevin, Steve, Paul, and Eric. And Kevin is directing this one. And it's a drama, it says on IMDb Pro, oh, called yes. Quasi. Yes. I'm guessing about Quasimodo. And here's, here's the breakdown. Follow a hapless hunchback who yearns for love, but finds himself in the middle of a murderous feud between the Pope and the King of France when each, when each orders the hunchback to kill the other. Mm-hmm. Um, Give me a hell but, yeah! What? This I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm all I'm all about it. Seems <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I I'm, mean I'm definitely gonna watch it. And but, dude, <laughs> is if it's if it's a straight drama, this is gonna be the craziest movie of all time. Yo, but there's another one where the guy who goes, I think it's the guy who's like bear fucker, the guy who says bear fucker to mm-hmm. I believe Eric Stolhounce, who has one weird leg, Blake, uh, <laughs> who's fucking the bear. Weird. Let it go. Um, not weird. <laughs> he is in a horror movie. Where they like go to some like weird Scandinavian island and then shit gets crazy. I just saw the trailer the other day and I was like, that isn't that Bearfucker well, guy? Well, dude, remember um So they're going out onto different levels here. I like this. I like it. Yeah, no, remember that that one guy was in that one guy was in that movie Open Water. Remember that movie where like they fall off the boat and then oh, there's like they have to s- terrifying they have to movie. swim. That movie's great. Sharks are circling. That yes. I don't know. That's worth a rewatch. I remember it being like a super simple premise that that paid yeah. off. Yeah. Two memories. Two memories. The woman's nipples they film they film them like super close. Really? No. And I'm like, all right, this is a little gratuitous. They have like one little sex scene in the beginning with just nipple real close. Okay. And so that's what, one. What's number two? Okay. And then the second memory? Very scary movie. Hot, hot, it's hot, a hot, macro. Hot. One's a micro memory and one is a macro memory. One is that it was a good movie and the other is the fucking nipples. The dude. nipples. It caught me off guard. I was like, there's this shot. It's so close. It's like, what a... Uh, I think I'm gonna have to stream. <laughs> I'm gonna have to deal with that tomorrow. I uh, I'm I'm hosting <laughs> Ellen tomorrow. Yes. And Whoa. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, hold. yeah. I'm hosting <laughs> Ellen tomorrow. All right. Uh, All right. Who's your Who's your guest? And Durs is Durs is one of my guests. No. What? Yeah, man. That's right, baby. Foul. Yeah, man. Promo uh, train. Good luck. And I'm excited. I get to watch your show tonight. I'm going to watch a, a an episode tonight of Inve- oh. Inventing Anna. Ooh, I just watched it last night. It's the um, best television show ever. All right. Excited. Yeah. I'm promoting uh, the the Righteous Gemstones, uh, which comes out this Sunday. Which mm-hmm. uh, it'll it'll be airing by the time uh, this podcast actually comes out. But on HBO, the Righteous Gemstones comes out this week. But I'm there. I'm hosting Ellen, promoting that, and yes. then having all these. Uh, these guests. Who but, else is on? But one of Do the episodes, uh, I, I like just tried on my clothes the other day. My mm-hmm. nipples, you could just see my nipples. And they're like, no, let's get you a different shirt. Uh, you're, th- you could just like, your nipples are like rock hard in this. It, maybe it's too much. And I'm like, no. Nah. Your boobs are huge. Nope, we're keeping mm-hmm. it. I'm going to be nipped out on Ellen. So get <laughs> yeah, ready. Get ready for that. Should Blake come and just play the soundboard during our interview? <laughs> I would love that. I'd no, love that. Cool. Well, no, they have a DJ. They have a DJ. They Maybe do. Blake, if you could just send your soundboard, we don't need you actually. Yeah, what's his name? DJ Twist or something? He's a really nice Twitch. guy. Twitch. Yeah, Twitch. That's right. Yeah. Twitch. Yeah. Wait, Durs, what are you promoting? I'm sorry. I got to get on. Inventing there. Anna from Shonda Rhimes on Netflix coming in February. 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 Okay. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. It's so the one I started filming that. before the pandemic. Um, it's finally coming out. Good. Okay. I'm glad. So, Adam, do you have like free reign, or do you got to kind of fit into the Ellen mold? Or is this going to be butt chugging? Like, what can we look forward to? At, uh, I keep at Adam? pitching uh, butt chugging, mm-hmm. but uh, they, they, yeah, they haven't really responded. No, they, they like uh, pitch me a bunch of different stuff, and then I'm working with their writers uh, on the monologue and. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep it somewhat Ellen, uh, yeah. you know, it's because I don't think that their audience would uh, totally respond to uh, all the butt chugging that yeah. I want to do. Well, add, yeah. to be there's fair, some... you don't know until you try it. So yeah, there's that's some crossover. That is true. I there is some guarantee crossover. there's some crossover. Do you want to just fit in the mold or do you want to ta- change TV forever? Ellen, Ellen liked Workaholics. I've talked with her about it. What? 
before. Yeah, on on episodes, I've gone on to promote workaholics. I was she quotes Jet Set. Bro, people love getting nasty, and if anything, like we're yeah. only getting nastier as a culture. So nasty. I think it's a lie, bro. We're kind I love of it. nasty, dude. So are you just doing one episode, or are you doing several? I'm doing two episodes in one day tomorrow. Wow. Do you know who's mm-hmm. on? Yeah, it's with, with Ju- me, Julie Bowen. Yep. And who you know, modern and, fam. Uh, and then I think that uh, episode we're get- and then we're gonna do like a human interest piece. Uh, it was some teacher that we're going to cool. give a, a bunch of money to and uh, has a really cool story. And then not the one that said, fuck you. And then I think your episode is uh, Nina Dobriv, who I just shot um, my last movie with the outlaws mm-hmm. and Juliana Huff, who they own a wine company together. Mm-hmm. And so oh. uh, they're there to promote their wine company. And then and then my boy, Dursey Holm. So you're telling wow. me we're getting some wine? I believe, Ooh. yeah, I believe you will probably get some wine out of this deal. Dobrev Huff Winery. Yeah. Uh, I hope you get that Ellen swag bag and get the cool hoodie and the Ellen tequila because, my gosh. My mom is so fitted with uh, talk show attire. Every nice. time I go, every time I, I FaceTime her, she's just wearing, like, Team Coco shirts or mm-hmm. Ellen sweatpants or mm-hmm. whatever else. That's great. You guys are the same the size. Best. We're the exact same size. Well, mm-hmm. I asked for uh, women's smalls. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's why your nipples For yourself. <laughs> That's why my nipples are always popping out. <laughs> yeah. That is cool. What? <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Um, I. It's going to be fun trying not to be who we are. I know. Yeah. That, exactly. It's going to be. It, it'll be weird. It's I'm, good to see you, Adam. Are you, are you guys gonna dance a whole bunch? Like, are, I've known this guy <laughs> for how long? Uh, I'm gonna embarrass Durs by making him d- dance a lot. I'm gonna yeah. say, "Twitch, hit it, and then get up, and then we'll have a little dance off." I'm gonna beat you to it. I'm gonna walk out with my dick tucked between my legs. And yes, everything's gonna stop. Just wiggle, wiggle your way out. That'd like, be great. Everything um, stops, and then they're like, "Okay, we're gonna need to take that again." Can you, can you put your dick goodbye. in your pants, sir? Yeah. <laughs> and then I go, "You have to." T- this isn't live. I don't care how long you've known each other. You can't have your dick out. Okay, that's not acceptable. I'm just. I'm gonna be like this. Oh, because it's Ellen, because it's daytime. Oh, I'm right. going to be going yeah, like this. Just like, TV in no general, laughing. you can't do that. Can't Why have your you... dick out. Can't do that on, on any show. Why aren't they laughing? Uh... Durs, I if you do that, I'll I'll let it I'll let it slide. As the host, I think I get I get to make that that call. Yeah, Adam's just like yeah. no, keep no, rolling. The you dick stays. Rolling. The dick stays. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The dick Bumble stays in the picture. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. but it, it is the first time I'm like actually hosting something, yeah. so it'll be it'll be uh, you know kind of weird. Oh, Besides you the MTV, movie the awards. MTV awards. Yeah, but I hosted that, but. That's like a, a huge. But you don't remember it. <laughs> I don't remember it. Yeah, uh, fair enough. It was like a that's like a huge event, and you yes. just you're basically just announcing uh, mm-hmm. ways that the Stranger Things kids can get awards. This right. is like I have to interview people and ask them <laughs> right. questions and stuff. Yeah, right. and uh, well, I guess the mo- like I I would think about it being nervous for like the monologue, but it's kind of just like doing stand up, right? But you're yeah, you're doing it'll like be fun. It'll things. be fun. It'll it, it'll just be like. Uh, getting shot out of a cannon a little bit where you just don't know what the fuck is going on and you're just doing stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it'll be great. How many times can I say, let's go, Brandon? <laughs> oh, <shit>. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> you have uh, to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I please try it. to sneak in some uh, some polycharged. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I can take let's go, Brandon, away from them. Right. It's like, let's go, Brandon. Oh, no, it's uh, it's coming. Yeah, no, I feel you there I, because I'm on board. I think it's fucking cool. <laughs> I'm gonna take it and go. Hey, let's go, Brandon. Yeah, make it make it your own. Make it your own. Yeah, make it your own. Let's, go, let's go, Jerome. Jerome. Let's go, let's go Jerome. Jerome. I wish. Let's go, Jerome. I wish. Uh, I wish maybe uh, Twitch's name was Brandon, so then you could like have it be a organic. You know, it yeah. might be. Find yeah, a find know. if a cameraman is named Brandon or find somebody on set whose name is Brandon yeah. and just keep throwing to them. 
There was a cool uh, hire an um, assistant named Brandon just for tomorrow. There, there was a cool fight in the stands at the uh, Wisconsin Arizona State game last week. Oh, where I love fan fights. These two Arizona State guys were like getting chippy with each other, and it was like going on way too long. We're like they're almost fighting, but not. I and then some dare you some old like beer belly dad from Wisconsin get who looked who looked grizzled, right? Like a guy who you're like. I don't know if I would fuck with this dude. He like throws hay hay bales around or some shit. Right. Comes up and he's like, if you guys don't fucking shut up, I'm going to fucking kick both of your asses. Da, da, da. Come on. Cut this shit out. Let's go, Brandon. And I was like, <laughs> shut up, I was bitch. Like, yeah, all right. I was with him and then I... What a fucking idiot. And then he tried to be like, come on, let's go, Brandon, right? And the guys were like, yeah, all right, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So they were bound by their... Their, yeah, <laughs> the hatred of the president. Did that? That stopped it. That stopped it. It stopped it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. All right. That's fucking so cool. Dumb. Wait. Well, if that's what brings us together, all of us, um, <laughs> punk, dude. Oh, I think that's let's not go, how Brandon. it's intended. But yeah, <laughs> if that's what brings everyone together, <laughs> well, yeah. I'm on board. I've I swung know. over. I know you are. Can we get <laughs> yeah. it on the soundboard? <laughs> let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Absolutely, we're gonna get one of those. <laughs> it's fucking it's two of my sucks. favorite things. It's got let's go in there. Oh yeah, did you guys do like something where you were abandoning Let's Go? What's going on? Let's, you were saying well, Why would we tell you? Why would we tell stop. you? Don't tell him. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Well, I just heard it. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, I'm sorry, we're trying to stop it. Let's stop. Let's to talk to go. Well, we're trying stop. to start Let's Stop, Let's Go. The Why? movement. Why? Because Let's Go is the worst. Well, dude. you're so here's, lucky. Wait, we're here's, here's, the, here's the tipping point. Is it that sucks. Kurt's rent a car made it their official like and you know how I don't fuck with Hertz. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck Hertz. Uh, but I, get also, that. I get that. Hertz. Dude, yeah, Hertz don't it. Enterprise. Somebody on, um, on, uh, on Twitter sent me one where it was also like Discovery Channel is now Let's Go. Where it's like, dude, turn on Discovery. Is, let's go. No, I mm-hmm. mean, I totally get it. I just was like, this is, it is weird. It's going corporate. It's going corporate. The amount of like friends that I know, like friends that I know that I respect their opinions. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, are like reaching out to me about the righteous gemstones coming back, mm-hmm. uh, and and they're they're like I I posted uh like a trailer for righteous gemstones on my Instagram, and then they will like text me or DM me going, let's fucking go, let's go, dude, mm-hmm. January 9th, let's go, and I'm like I don't know if I can be your friend anymore now, <laughs> so I've just like lost let's go. Like about twenty percent of of my friend group uh over. Yeah. Let's go. This is what goes on, right? When people are like, literally, literally, literally. Like it just yeah. becomes a part of your your vernacular. Or like, really? 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 My eight-year-old the other day, my eight-year-old the other day, he started saying the like, um, to be honest. Like it was, if I'm being honest, everyone was saying. And I'm then it became, honest. to be honest. And my eight-year-old says it. I'm like, this is fucking crazy. Your eight year old is is finally being honest with you. <laughs> yeah, no, I've the, been lying for people. To be honest, preface, uh, you don't know what I'm no talking about. It's no longer my favorite color. Do you not know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't. Not. Re- I really. Blake was doing it for a very yeah. long time on the podcast. He was I know. Saying, it's a preface. It's like a preface. That's my catchphrase. I say to be honest. If we're being honest, you would always say before a sentence, you'd say, "If I'm being honest, da da da." It was the thing people were saying, and then okay. they've they've shortened it to to be honest. Honestly, who throws a shoe? It's it's all pointless and stupid. Yeah, um, it's just like a, th- a little phrase that people will latch on to, and then it becomes part of uh, everyone's you know everyday lexicon. Right, yeah. like ja- like how we always used to all say Jia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jia. Jia. I mean, s- soon enough, let's go. We'll cycle through. I'm just really excited to see what's next. It's gonna be. When's the last cool. time you guys heard a real nice? I know, right. It's been a while, right? I know, right? right. I know, right, right? Was a fucking pandemic. Yeah, I, know, right. I, know, right. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? Was really. I know, cool. right? Was a what moment. About a, know what I mean? Know what I mean? That was know what I mean. That one we could have that. Know what I mean? Oh, that's kind of the same. That deal. wasn't a thing. That was a catchphrase. Uh, I feel like that didn't catch on. I did. I don't know if that caught on quite as much. Know what I mean? as, that yeah. was huge in uh, on our friend group. We always say, "Know what I mean?" Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Everybody did that though, right? <laughs> Yeah, I feel like let's go. I feel like Hertz rental car didn't go. Know what I mean? <laughs> great prices. <laughs> yeah. Great prices. Know what I mean? They should. That would be a great 
corporate <laughs> swing if somebody latched on to fucking, you know what I mean? Impossible meat. <laughs> it tastes real, know what I mean? <laughs> it tastes real, you know what I mean? Impossible yeah. burger. Well, that would tastes be real, like, not what I mean? That, the impossible would be, is that real, Bam? <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. All right. That is good. He's back. <laughs> right. He's <I> back. <laughs> I'm back. Now um, we're back together again. La, 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 la. Uh, oh, good. Wow. Yeah, let's go, man. It just, it bugs me. I feel like everyone that goes to USC uh, says let's go. <laughs> for sure. That's They started it. That's v University of Second Choice. <laughs> oh, damn. Get them. Hold that on. That was a fucking stinger. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, points. Oh. Sirs, what the heck? You were in a um, you were in a George Harrison music video. We didn't even cover that. What was Rock that on. about? What? Did you guys see that? Uh, it was like George this. Harrison, like I saw 50th this anniversary or something. Lance Bangs. Lance Bangs directed a George Harrison video. Our guy Lance Bangs mm-hmm. is a homie of a homie, and my homie was one of the producers of it. Um, my boy DJ Chris Holmes. Uh, who just knows everybody in LA and yeah, um, socialite? He does. That's like, not exactly. <laughs> uh, his one of his jobs was DJing before a Paul McCartney shows. So Which like, if you so go to see cool. Paul McCartney, very cool gig. He's the guy doing like mashup of how of um like Beatles wings. songs that come together. Yeah, wings, all that. I just recently uh, got into listening to some of the Beatles. They're they're pretty good. Oh, yeah, dude, bad. yeah. They but had a handful of songs. Did you George, guys watch the... Did you George Harrison, the, fucking... uh, yeah, the, yeah. the documentary? Yeah, it was, it was super boring. <laughs> oh, yeah, that shit was I, t- I didn't so get through good. it. I yeah, it, was, it, was, it was way it was interesting. <laughs> way long and boring. It was the best. It was interesting. I it fucking just, love I, that thing. It made me go like, I could be the Beatles. Right. I, well, I, that's not Beatles. what I took away from it. I was just like... I think if you have any sort of interest in the Beatles, it's interesting because they are arguably the greatest band, most prolific band of all time. And right. if you have any interest in music, this is a great song. I got my is mind. This, good song. Is yeah. this the best song that any member right, of the Beatles has off. ever done? Fifteen no, seconds, bro. It's like it's turn this it verse. It's this verse just over and over again. And yeah, by the way, um, so anyway, Blake, Blake. Yeah, I did a video. Go ahead. Well, I was saying that if you don't have any interest in music and you don't care for the Beatles, it's not like an interesting documentary where you learn anything. It's like you're just watching the greatest band ever just exist yeah. in a room. That's what I it, thought was, that was beautiful was cool. about it. That they was were just beautiful. Dudes. Yeah, it was like you just watch them pull these songs out of thin air. That's like, like one part. That's fantastic. And then you also see how much fun they're having, too, which is this is an era in their history where people, uh, 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 is, it's covered in darkness. Uh, so it was like they were breaking up and all that shit, but really they were there were awesome moments where they were having fun creating together. But, but you have to wait through nine hours of it. Exactly. It was too long. <laughs> Adam, shut up. Didn't matter. <laughs> I could have watched it forever. It, 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 I thought it was t- too long, but also... Yeah. Uh, it was kind of cool watching them, uh, the, like seeing how hard they worked. It yeah, wasn't man. like like when There's we no get together phones. and we're writing something together, we're developing a project together. We get together. Let's say we have four hours. Mm-hmm. We bullshit for two and a half hours, mm-hmm. work they for one hour, and then mm-hmm. bullshit for another thirty minutes. When they like, we're good time guys. Literally, we get there and they they were working and just talking music for. 10 hours straight every day. I mean, it's truly because they have no distractions like other than each other. Like they're stuck in this room. You can't look down on your phone, check Twitter or whatever. You're just fucking in a fucking box together. Yeah, but we wouldn't, we would kind of have a no phones rule in the writer's room of workaholics. Not like a, not like a hard fast rule, but it'd be like, "Mm, maybe don't be on your phone while we're trying to break the story. And we would still just bullshit about aerobies from the nineties. Mission drift. It reminded me of Mission the Workaholics Drift. writer's room or inter- any writer's room, really. It was kind of like reminiscent of that, where it's just like watching the creative process is truly something fucking sweet, dude, when it works. Yeah. It, yeah, I do agree. I did like that about it, but I was just like, oh, I don't know if I need like nine hours of it. Like my, what would my mom take? What would my mom take away from that documentary? She would probably be like Snoozeville 97. Well, it's not informational. You're right. You're but, just absorbing it. You're just absorbing it. You I, are just kind of absorbing footage and watching them. Well, let's, I, I got to hear more about Blake's mom not absorbing this. See, I, I don't want to, I want to watch like 
I feel like your mom is the generation to actually enjoy it. She like my generation, it. I want to. I want to hear what like Meg the Stallion's creative process is. Yeah. What is or like what in? is what is Chingy's. Like, what did he go through? Exactly. What did Chingy go through? When he's doing through? right there, what was his yeah, head what was Where was Chingy at when he was... Uh, about, where was Hurricane I, Chris walking it out? Would we like the way he did that right there? Right there? Yeah. Uh, What's see, up with Jake? And I guess that's why I, I was like, I'm not... I, I, like, really only know that one George Harrison song. Yes, that would be very weird. If you don't know the Beatles catalog, then when they make up this iconic sh song, you're not going like, holy shit, that's when Paul made up that song? But you're like, this could be... It, well, it, it, it was inspiring in the way that, like, a lot of them started off, like, real shitty. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, oh, yeah, like, I guess if you do work super hard at something, you can make it uh, much better. Because when they first started, you're like... Well, yeah, but that's everything. Exactly. What's the song that you actually like? Like, you see a lot of songs, but the one that you see, like, coming together is, like, when he's, like, uh, banging on the fucking guitar, and then he yeah, all of a sudden um, is like, Jojo is a man, na, na, yeah. na, and he just is over and over, get and back. you see him, like, get, get back. back, yeah, it's fucking sweet, dude. But that's why Paul's the freaking best, dude. I quit when they were like, we can't record in here. The acoustics aren't good. We got to go. And I turned it off. I love their dynamic, bro. Paul was in the studio always. Always in the studio. Ringo, first to come in after that. Then George. But George was kind of like, yo, I don't know why I'm here. One foot in, one foot out. And then John would show up. And that was how they did it every day. With with Yoko. And Yoko fucking sat there every moment. That's yeah, kind of weird. Look, What's the verdict look. on her after watching the documentary? Because ev obviously everyone always said she broke up the Beatles. What's the verdict? I don't think she broke up the Beatles at all. No. There was... Dy Do you guys fuck with Yoko? Have you listened to her music? Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. It's sick. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. She's she cool. She's swings. a good artist. She was like radical, man. It um Huh. I don't think she broke them up. I think they had other dynamics. They all look at the music they made afterwards. They all just had shit to get out. Yeah, for they sure. They needed to get shit out and they were tired of discussing it with each other. That's yeah. all it is. Are we still talking about are we still talking about the Beatles, Kyle? George had his George had his <laughs> mind set on us. He had to direct um <laughs> Well, Ringo Frick, was making ya. a movie. Ringo was like, hey, I got to get done with this because I got the movie, The Magic Christian. And he was hungover. Because uh, he was producing. Yeah. They were all getting dipping toes. And is it true R Ringo's first like solo album outsold Paul McCartney's first solo album, I think? Something like that? Where really? you're like, huh? Dude, after I watched the documentary, I'm like, because I fell in love with Ringo through the doc. I'm like, Ringo, I never have liked Ringo. But after seeing that, I'm like, he's my well, he had two normal legs, which we know you need. Yeah. Fucking guy. All right, chill. So I was like, dude, I'm going <laughs> to like that. I'm like, I'm going to check out his music cuz maybe I was just being harsh. The dude's pretty cool. Dude, his solo album sucks. Yeah, it's They're not very so good. Bad. Ringo. 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 But yes. it was a bigger Terrible. hit for some reason than the first like Wing Wings album. Oh man, it's like it's so bad. And I love Ringo and that that those albums are just not very good. But George is good. I thought uh, George rocks. I thought yeah. uh, Paul was kind of just like the pretty boy of the group. Because I know he was known as like the cute one. So I didn't think he was like the creative force. And and then watching the documentary, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that he was like yeah, so about his business. He's the Yeah, he's the guy who's about the business. He's the guy who churns out like the hits that are catchy that you're like, oh, my God, this is such a good song. And then John is the guy who's like, actually, my song's about more. Yeah, sure and like it's still bro. good and yeah. it's yeah. got more wit like john came with like just the hard-hitting wit to it mm -hmm. as well yeah, yeah. He, was, yeah. He, was a, he was deep he was deep bro. you know that uh that i thought that just coming back to the the george harrison video that my boy was in playing uh playing a, a freaking like mib yeah jersey congrats I, the, I thought that that shit was kind of sick, and it's like, okay, that's tight. They're making a video hella years later for this dude. But the right. only gripe, and I'll say okay. it here, uh -oh. I got one Go I got off. one thing. Go off I queen. did not understand why they felt the need to put John Hamm's voice over George's <laughs> fucking what? song. His Burn. voice... Yeah, his voice pops through in that, and he's like, "We're sending a lot of, uh, we're sending a bunch of people in black ties and white shirts to help agents." I did not understand it after so many. I years, haven't watched it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, I, it was I, so I, I weird. didn't even know like, about this. I'm excited yeah. to watch it. When did you do this? I don't know. Uh, a few, a few months ago. I think it was right when I left 
to go film with you, Adam, because Durs kind of hit me up like, do you uh, want to do this? In and Atlanta? I, like, I have to go to Atlanta. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. cool. They, um, they just basically got together a bunch of people who they knew to be in it and it was like oh fuck i'm down george harrison this song it's a fucking good song yeah um yeah. i got to kick it with the three deborahs yes 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 oh yeah those girls are cool super yeah, funny i think adam you worked with um uh, sandra is that right yeah the, exactly. the, the shorter one yeah she's right. really funny uh, right. we worked they, on uh, isn't it romantic together they reminded me of us because really? they're like yeah because they're like homies who created something together and uh yeah. 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 No, they're and, very funny. And, and, the and they talk about porno constantly. <laughs> so I was like, you guys remind me of my guys. Um, uh, well, yeah. should we um, should we give some flowers or uh, take oh, yeah. or gotta apologies? Go. I do. Oh, yeah. Freaking heck in A. <laughs> Free, time um, flies Adam when you're and, having a great time. Blake, any take backs about? Yes. Hey, I would like to take back, uh, you know, whatever knee jerk reaction I had to the guy. Knee jerk? <laughs> okay. Hey, now you're just, on. come on. Yes, You're being a jerk. To, uh, our dude from uh, Broken Lizards. Stolhonsk. Stolhonsk, not having a leg in P90X. It inspired me to keep pushing play, dude. Blake's, yeah, Blake's me. like, I have two legs. Imagine how great in, in shape, I, shape I could get. Yeah. I could get in fantastic shape with both of these legs. So that's, there's my take back. Sorry. Sorry for that. That first and they're time. doing that firefighter show now. They've been doing that for a long time. I think it's got a... Yeah, the Tacoma... Uh, Exactly. FD. They're, yeah, they're doing pretty well. Yeah, they're doing great. Uh, flowers to the the um, broken lizard guys. They're all super. Were you gonna say lemmings? No, I was gonna say uh, the broken uh, the no the uh, Andy Samberg's crew. The Lonely Island guys is what <laughs> oh, it was yeah. on the tip of. Uh, but broken we'll lizard g- guys and uh, both of them. Yeah, fuck it. Give them to them both. <laughs> yeah, I will give flowers to the little yeah. island. I think they're yeah, great. Look, yeah. Who else? Summer of Tears? What are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, a lot of those a lot of those sketch groups uh, early on really inspired us. And it's cool to see, uh, you know, and, and then the, the sketch groups bought that were after us, like the the Three Debras, uh, are mm-hmm. super funny as well. So mm-hmm. flowers to sketch groups out there uh, coming up. Flowers to sketch comedy. Coming up yeah. together and uh, and doing the damn thing. Keep yeah. keep it up. Mad oh, flowers. Yeah. Mad Sandy. Flowers. Yes, Sandy. Mm. Sandy, Mitra. Flowers to them. Flowers, flowers to her. <laughs> flowers to them. <laughs> flowers Alyssa. to the third Debra. Alyssa. Alyssa. Hey, guys. Alyssa. Yo, this and, was and another Kyle, episode. And Kyle's back. <laughs> this is important. Let's see. Let's see how now many episodes he, he sticks around. La, la, All right. La, so la, this la. is the second episode or the first. I don't know how we decided to talk. Uh, how this is number two. Yeah, I guess we we're going second, but we're going over and under seven now. So we we will see. I'm gonna go under. I'm going under for sure. Freaking see ya. <laughs> Wait, what are you guys at? I can I can do this. Where are you at? Where you just you completed two episodes. We're saying mm-hmm. over under seven. He yeah, looks spent so already. I mean, what are you saying, Adam? I'm just yep. putting it out there. I want, He's I want the, the community. I'm asking, are you over or under? I, I'm saying I oh. believe it will be under, but right. uh, you know, I'd There's like for you to prove me wrong. Under, for sure. Oh, cool. <laughs> Let's Blake. go. Blake. <laughs> very good. Uh, I think he's in it for the long haul. Oh, really? Oh, you very good. Okay, cool. Make it interesting. Very yeah. good. Hey, uh, you know the good. last time I thought that was <laughs> just before he quit. <laughs> Hold up. Uh-uh. But uh, I, I like There'll your be attitude. A lot of quitting. I'll be quitting a bunch. It's all cool. It's just dynamic. Yeah. It adds dynamics cool. to an otherwise flat podcast. Mm-hmm. Do you have any take backs, Desert. like on a lar- like on a larger scale? <laughs> None. Whatsoever, absolutely none. I'm sorry. Okay. I think you're leading me on something, but I have nothing to take back at all. Okay. I'm just plowing uh, forward at a uh, rapid pace. Hello. No. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, and that all right. was another and that's episode. Another episode. Up. <laughs> this, this is important. This is important. Important. Importante. importante.